always give away too much mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch I'm always pouring out my heart No little by little here I'm always pushing things too far Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar No boundaries, I get too close No little by little here Cause I give my all oh, No little by little I pour out my The jump and risk the fall I see no limits in the sky No little by little here No, no Got stuck on working on myself Thought I was wrong and needed help But I'm just different something else No little by little here Cause I get my I'm finally home as I've been in the previous vlog as well at the end of the vlog but um, I am I'm gonna lie I am so so happy to be at home because I um, well actually uh, in the last video I didn't have time to well not, not that I didn't have time but I didn't want to because you know the video was long all in all by itself so I wanted to you know do the outro like really quickly um but you know to tell you now more i kind of liked it there uh you know in the spa treatment but as i said you know i it would probably be better if i had like one roommate constantly um changing roommates can be quite exhausting in a way because you're just used to one person and then another one comes and you have to you know adjust to her habits and you know stuff like that so yeah i would prefer if i had just one roommate you know throughout the whole um spa treatment but um apart from that it was really really good you know whenever i had some free time i went to the pool had a little bit of kind of swim it wasn't really swimming because i still can't swim but you know something similar to it <laughs> 
and uh, yeah, went around for a walk uh, around the lake. So it was really nice there. And the last day when Anna and Kali came for me, we also went for a little walk around the lake, but uh, we weren't there for a long time because it started raining and we decided to, you know, just head home. The weather wasn't really that good that day, so yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I came home then and since then, uh, as I said, I went to my orthopedist and I'm still gonna continue on with my physiotherapy here, you know, the normal one. So I'm starting that one on 15th of May. I just got the letter today, so... Yeah, the physiotherapy that I'm going to soon is actually really, really close to me. I can literally walk there. It's so close, which is very, very good. And they also have a pool there because my I talked to my orthopedist and I said, I think that pool really helped me. So I asked him if I was allowed to go to the pool and swim a little, you know, exercise. And then he recommended that place, which is very close to me. He was like, uh, they have pool there, so it's going to be you know, easier for you as well and good. So I'm going there <laughs> and I'm quite excited um, but for these two weeks I think I'm gonna take it maybe a little bit more easy you know and exercise on my own as much as I can um, I mean do the exercises for the knee of course and also I talked to my doctor and she allowed me to go out so that's a very good thing because yesterday well I forgot to bring my camera I was really bummed about that but uh, we went uh, like near the lake so yeah we went on like a little short walk and then stopped by the lake and had a little picnic there so it was really really nice and I'm just glad my doctor allows me to go outside uh, you know to walk a little bit because I was just like I really want to go but I'm not sure I can but then she was like of course you can I'm just gonna ride it um, down so you know if anyone stops you you can say that I allowed you so very very good and i'm actually i've improved quite a lot i think my you know you know me all in all is getting really really better if you saw um i showed you how i'm doing the exercises and i think i'm quite nailing it <laughs> i don't know i have a feeling that it's just getting really like better and better like every single day which i'm excited because you know that means i can get you know slowly back to normal and work out again so i'm really really excited for that and while we're on that topic i started watching physical hundred on netflix and boy do i have to say this is one of my favorite series it's not actually a series like a reality tv reality series and um, it mostly goes around who has the perfect physique but not like in an appearance way but like in speed, endurance, strength, and willpower away. So you have a lot of different obstacles you have to conquer um, to succeed to next level. And yeah, as you know, the title says, there are a hundred of them and only one wins. And it's been amazing to watch. Sorry, let me just rethink if I have enough potatoes or should I use the three of them as well? I'm gonna use the three of them as well, just in case. Yeah, it's very, very amazing. Like I fell in love with the series so much. I think I watched it in like two days, the whole, <laughs> the whole series, the whole episodes actually, well, the whole season. <laughs> so I loved it. And uh, if you are like a workout junkie, I would recommend you watch it because I love it. I'm just watching that kind of series now, literally. Um, so I watched the physical hundred. Now I'm moving on to Ultimate Beastmaster. This is actually a like older show. I think it started in 2015. So I'm still on the first season, but there are three of them out. So um, I'm on first now, but I'm gonna watch all of them for sure. I just love watching that. And you know, sometimes when you see that and you think, you know, you you see them do things with you know such ease that I'm just like. You think it's easy, but when you try it on your own, you're surprised. Like literally yesterday when me and Anna went out, I tried to do some pull-ups outside um, the way they did on the show. And I was like, props to you because my arms like today are hurting so much <laughs> and I wasn't even there for a long time. So I was literally surprised. I was like, even if it seems easy, doesn't mean it is so. If you are 
couch commenting, don't be too harsh because trust me, it's not as easy as it looks. So yeah, but I really, really loved it. I, Physical 100 is by far the best series for me. Um, it is a Korean show, actually. Um, they haven't done an American one yet maybe they will i don't know but i just they are all like brutal they i think they are the strongest people we on the earth honestly just seeing them how strong they are how how much they can endure how i don't know it's just amazing seeing them i wish to be like them no honestly they have everything what it takes and also i am making lunch now i'm probably gonna do well it's really hard for me to translate something like that but it's like it's not like potato soup but it's a mixture is like similar to the soup so but it's not quite soup so let's say it's kind of like a potato soup but more like creamy and uh, just yummy <laughs> so i'm doing that now and uh, then i'll take kali out i'm walking on the stairs very very better um i'm not going you know one by one with both legs i'm going one by one with one leg <laughs> so even downstairs which is a very very big improvement because i couldn't do that like two weeks ago and now i can so it's improving and i love it i also i think i've said that already but i started the cooking oh i think i didn't i started the cooking challenge on the 21 days challenge and I have to say I'm loving it because every day I get some new challenge that I completely love. Since then I actually started love cooking even more. I mean, I liked it before as well, but now I think I found a, I don't know, it's just a bigger passion. I don't know how to explain it. Just my power, I, I mean, my will to cook is very, very much stronger. And maybe I think it's the, the 21 days challenge that did that for me. So I'm thankful it did. So now I'm trying to learn as much as I can. So I know the recipes. And even when I start working, it's gonna be easier for me, you know, to come home. I know exactly how to do it. Rather than, you know, watching and trying and maybe messing something up and then trying to correct it and stuff like that. So I'm trying my best now. And I will continue on cooking now, but I have to leave you for now because I'm gonna need both of my hands now and I can't you know, talk to you while I'm running up and down. So I will see you when I see you. This is how we're looking now. The rice is cooking and the meat is defrozing. And today I am gonna do the um, fried rice with chicken with honey sesame sauce. So it's gonna be very good. It's like a Chinese recipe actually. So I've done the honey sesame um, chicken, um, but I haven't tried it together with the fried rice. But Anil said that today maybe we could, you know, do the fried rice mixture together with that. So I thought, why not try something new? So what I'm doing now is I'm actually cooking the rice. This is the best thing we bought, like the rice cooker. It saves so much time and just it's great when it's done it just literally goes from cook to warm and that is it so after it's gonna be cooked i am gonna uh leave it here to like cool off just a little bit maybe for like five minutes and then i'm gonna put it in the fridge and so it can get that good um texture it's not supposed supposed to be really moisty uh, but it's supposed to be like uh a, a little dry in a way you know so it's um better for you know fried rice when you're cooking it because if you do it immediately yeah you know after the rice is oh that's hot <laughs> after the rice is cooked and if you put it in a pan it's just gonna be one sticky mush it's gonna be nothing you know so you have to kind of wait for it to like dry off in a way you know so it isn't that sticky so yeah that's our lunch today and I'm thinking of making um, some muffins. I saw, where's my phone? Here it is. I'm gonna show you what I found. I think it's actually very nice. Um, although I need strawberries and I don't have them. So maybe I'm thinking like maybe alternative, it's gonna be the bananas. Cause it can also go really well with the bananas. So um, let me show you. Uh, it should be in the desserts section. Yes, here we go. 
strawberry cream cheese muffins but yeah as i said since i don't have strawberries i think i'm gonna go for the bananas so i'm gonna try to attempt that and we'll see how it goes if i'll have enough time like i have uh, all of the ingredients necessary but instead of heavy uh cream cheese i actually have mascarpone but i think it's okay because basically the similar thing almost so i think it's gonna be okay yeah and that is basically my plan for today just do the lunch and then if the weather is gonna be okay we might as well go for a walk but it's really wonky today like if you can see i can see quite well it's just light <laughs> um it's like raining a little bit and then it stops and then it's raining again and it's just in the intervals and i don't think it's very good but yeah they did say that the next three days are it's gonna be raining a lot so <laughs> on the days when we were all free you know because it's the bank holidays on monday and tuesday so yeah it's gonna be raining the whole um every day so oh yeah it's it's usual for spring that so it's kind of normal but yeah um but also i am gonna love you and leave you here i don't have anything other planned for today except for watching a movie eating popcorn watching ultimate beastmaster and making lunch and dessert and that's basically it apart from that it's just mostly relaxing and just you know chill at home because you know as i said if the weather is gonna be okay we're probably gonna go for a walk but and if we will i will like time lapse it a little bit thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will hopefully see you in my next video so stay safe until then you guys bye I can stay till the morning or stay till the dawn but just hold me now I want to be so much better whenever you're around I want to say something clever to get in your mind cuz right now we're not together and I lose my way then oh I feel so much